work done. Work done is given by the formula force multiplied by distance traveled in the direction of the force. However, we need to understand that there are actually two types of forces in all physics formulas. It is either exerted force or net force. And net force is also called resultant force. So which force should I use? Exerted force or resultant force? To understand this concept, let's look at an example. Imagine this boy is pulling the box with a force of 10 newtons across the sand. There's a constant frictional force of 3 newtons acting on the box. And he pulls the box over a distance of 5 meters. What is his work done? If you had used exerted force, you would have obtained a value of 50 joules because you would use 10 multiplied by 5. If you had used the net force, then you would have obtained 35 joules because you would have to take 10 newtons, subtract the 3 newtons of friction in the opposite direction. So which one is correct? Now the answer is 50 joules. The way to explain it would be to imagine that how tired you are at the end of the motion depends on the work that you do. If you use net force to calculate your work done, it would mean that with frictional force, you do less work so that you are less tired. So it also means that the bigger the frictional force, the less tired you are. Therefore, it only makes sense to say that how tired you are would depend on the force that you exert over that particular distance.